all right welcome back to another uh, video beautiful another beautiful friday uh just up here at the calves we're just doing a head count we got around um around 31 calves from what i just counted so that means we got one more count of calf um we had a new calf yesterday that guy with the white head behind the red one He's the newest one, and we just have to watch him because his mother has a big udder, and I don't think he's drank too much. So we're gonna finish. Wait till they finish eating. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. But as for the rest, they're happy, happy as can be. We're super happy with this sand pad that we made. Not like we needed it this year, but it's it's a nice change. You got a pile of calves here. They're super healthy. Cute ones. All different sorts. White strip face. All red. All black. All red. Little white going on his head here. That's a nice one. He's the oldest one, I think. A nice diversity in color here. And size. Look at this guy, he's big, he's cute. Here's the latest one too. Newest one, born yesterday. He's my favorite too, this guy. <laughs> All right, this is one we gotta keep an eye on. He doesn't look too full. He must've drunk a little bit, I can see in the front. But she's a good cow, so I'm not, uh, I'm not too concerned. I just remember last year, the last three calves we had got sick at the end. I don't know why it's at the end, but it seems like the... I'll just keep an eye on him. His nose is a little... not the warmest either, so... Is that udder just ready to explode. He hasn't sucked on that at all. Oh, well. they should be all right. They're like in the corn. We gotta make another one of these. Give them extra room so we can feed more. These are well made. I'm not gonna say where we got the material, but uh, it's pretty solid. So this Hereford heifer here is the last one the calf like and of course mrs skinny but as her condition worsens i do not think she will be having a baby the best bet for her i think so this is the last one here she's prac check so she's gonna calf she's starting a little bit so we'll give her time she'll have a baby that's for sure So that would be 32 with if she calves, but I don't think she will. She's had a long life, so she doesn't need to have a baby. All right, I just went to the abattoir, pick up some meat. This is our uh, little meat shop where we sell all our products on our farm. Uh, got some orders to fill. So uh, I have a website where we sell all our meat and if, uh, if you want to buy stuff, you can order it. And I received the order and I uh, just get it ready here. Uh, this particular order is 65 pounds of ground beef. So, hey cat, what are you doing in here? I uh, get everything ready here and you either have a uh, pickup or delivery option. So in this case, it's a pickup. Um, it's a regular client every month, 65 pounds of ground beef. So we'll get that ready for him and uh, gotta get this cat out of here. I don't know what he's doing in here. Howard, what are you doing? Come here. Come on, Howard. You know, you're full of cobwebs. Come on. Come on, Howard. All right, the order's made. Now I'm on to a full 
Oh, actually, it's a half pork box. Anyways, it's 65 pounds, so we have to make a 65 pound box of all the pork cuts. So everything from sirloin uh, to pork chop, shoulder roast, to uh, tenderloin, to hock. Um, and I'm missing maybe some bacon. Yes, bacon. Alright, uh, we just went to go get some fencing supplies, 20 degrees right now, 20 degrees in November, I got two sweaters on, they're going to be coming off in a hurry, uh, we're just getting the four wheeler out here now, we got the fencing trailer out, need some air, uh, we got a, just bought a roll, some wire, some insulators, um, just thought about all the things I could need, should be enough for now, and some loose wire just for the ends, um, let's go pump up that tire, alright, so if you guys remember a couple of videos ago, this is where we, where we came and pounded in posts, uh, when the post pounder was giving us trouble, so this is where we will be fencing, Putting up two wires alongside the cement pad and then two wires alongside this barn here so our cows don't eat the hay. So these are our freestanding posts. And uh, let's get going. All right, unfortunately these T posts are too thick. Much too thick to fit a regular insulator so we gotta use these junky ones. I don't like these very much, they bend back pretty quick but we just wired them on so they shouldn't move as for here these are just waiting and insulators we'll have a double gate here all right so uh put on my first set of insulators here uh, this whole line is ready for wire so we're gonna get our spinning jenny out start pulling some wire I nearly broke my back carrying this thing through the bush this summer, so now I don't pick it up, just drag it. It's around 50 pounds of wire, plus the whole heavy duty rolling system. And we're talking around 60 pounds or so. Heavy enough, pretty awkward though. This roll cooperates. All right, that uh, that wires up. Two nice wires, nice and tight. Uh, a little bit high here. Could go down a little bit. I don't know if the caps are going to get underneath that. Uh, but well, certainly better than we used to have it. So I had to, I had to make sure I had two fixed posts at the end to tighten it from. So not just tightening from these tires because they would obviously move. You know they'd come in. So that's done. Onto the big side. All right. So at this corner here, we're gonna have two gate handles. Um, I ran two more wires here. Uh, I ran them behind the post here because we're gonna put the two by eights or two by six boards, stack them all the way up so we have somewhere to push and scoop the manure before or while we wait for cement blocks. That would be ideal, but we don't have any. So two more insulators here. I'm gonna run it to the end. I'm gonna need two more, I presume, and I forgot to run two more to go that way, but we're short on supplies, so we gotta focus on the objective first. Never mind the manure side. All right, we're gonna drag this thing over. All right, let's put some screwing insulators. This is pretty much done here. Uh, I got two gate handles. Uh, we just have to run something to the power to get power over there, or we're gonna get it from the other side. I haven't figured that yet. 
but we're just running this wire. Got to load this up again. Break my back on this thing, hopefully not. All right, we're just putting up the two wires, put in the screw insulators with the drill attachment. That works real good. Uh, we're just sticking the insulators on the outside. Uh, we find that in the spring when the cows get itchy, they'll rub up against the post and snap off the uh, screwing insulators. So this way they're gonna scratch on the posts and the posts are bigger this time so they will not break them. And hopefully that works. All right, so we only got one gate handle left, one of these crappy ones. They don't have much play in them, so I don't really like them. So you can't get them tight enough. Uh, it's got a little droop in it. Anyways, this side is connected. Just got to run a jumper to get the power, but we got a gate here to come in and out when we haul manure. Um, so the power for this gate is going to come from here. So when we have unhooked the gate, there's gonna be no power on the gate. Um, power for this comes from over there. It still has to be hooked up properly. Yeah, we need gate handles basically. We need one there. So we need two here. Uh, that's it. So we need, yeah, three gate handles. Maybe make it four with rid of that junk one. Uh, Oh, we might make a gate over at the other end to get the manure out. So let's just, oh, and we need more end insulators. Two more of those. And then the gate here. We only got one wire. Oh, no, we got, no, yeah, we got one. This one's ripped. Okay. So we need, we need uh, here and then these these are still good this one's needs to replace so we gotta get a new one of those and we gotta hang this gate so we can get rid of this one <laughs> all right so that's why i don't like these damn things when you tighten them they collapse and they bend back and it's gonna short it out so we'll have to change that um we found two insulators so we managed to make a gate here just gotta get uh, two gate handles. Um, as for that, we're pretty well. Uh, well, I gotta run some jumpers now just so that the power can go everywhere. Um, but it has to go in the right places so that our gates um, don't short out or don't have power on them when they're open. So that will be tricky. Um, for this gate here, we have to, we have to jump, yeah, we have to use, we have to jump, the, because we're getting the power from over here, so it has to be jumped. Uh, yeah, other, oh, actually, we're gonna, we're actually gonna not do that, we're gonna, once we make the other fence going over there, we're gonna get the power from there, jump it there, jump it there, jump it here, and then this fence gets the power from this side. Or, yeah, when this, when this gate is open, then there won't be any power on it. Um, as for this, it will get the power from, yeah, we'll have to get it from here too. So we're going to have to run a wire here. All right, that does it for this uh, video. I uh, hope everybody has a good Friday and a really good weekend. Um, short kind of video, but, you know, it's just how it is. I'm not... Uh, I'm not making work just for the sake of a video. I'm just doing what I'm doing and you guys are tagging along. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe, please. It really helps us out. And uh, like this video if you like it. Until next time, see ya. Maybe, maybe see you Monday, maybe see you Saturday. Not too sure yet. Might take some time off, but who needs time off?